The KRE Regional Bank ETF ripping higher today, but it's only at its highest close since the end of last month. Western Alliance rallying more than 20 percent after the regional bank said deposits are rebounding in April. First Republic, Comerica region, Regions Financial also getting a boost. For more on these moves, let's bring in RBC Capital Markets' Gerard Cassidy. Gerard, great to have you with, with us. Thank you, Melissa. Hasn't been so bad, Gerard. Can we can we <laughs> no, say that we're we're all clear? It's we're in the clear now. No, you're, Melissa, you're absolutely right. The numbers coming in for the first quarter have actually been pretty good, better than expectations in some cases. But more importantly, and you said it about the deposits, we saw that last week with the H8 data, that the deposit inflows to the small banks have started. And I think that's the real all clear is the worst is behind us on the deposit flight. Unless, unless the banks have to raise capital. And there was an analyst that we had on CNBC earlier today who said in the next six months, a lot of banks should raise capital, even if they don't need to have the capital, to prove that they can. Do you fall in that camp, too? Is there something to that? Because if that is the case, then there could be some dilution to shareholders. You're right. There would be some dilution to shareholders, but I'm not in that camp. The banking industry is overcapitalized. We have capital levels that are well above the regulatory requirements, and there's no need to raise capital. Now, some people are assuming that they're going to take the hell to maturity, unrealized securities losses through capital, which may prompt people to say they should raise capital. We're not in that camp, and we don't expect any banks to have to be forced to raise capital, not, not amongst the big banks, let's put it that way. Gerard, it's Karen. Thanks for being on. In terms of, we have one big question mark left, maybe a lot more than one, but first for public. So we'll find out Monday. What do you expect to happen there? Are they the most likely for a big capital raise? Karen, they are the troubled child in the banking space right now. We all know that. They've been very clear with the announcements that they've had that they've really felt this deposit flight. And so their numbers are going to be very important for all of us to look at. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, what they put up. I, I don't think that they're an immediate need for capital because they currently obviously are very profitable. Generally, people run into capital problems when there's credit problems, and that's not the case here. And, and the real question is, are they forced to sell securities portfolios that are underwater? We don't think so. But their high cost of funding is going to be a real challenge. For them. That's what everybody's going to focus on when those numbers are released. Gerard, thanks again for being on with us. This is Bonowin. Uh, would you mind speaking to like credit quality that you're seeing at the regional banks versus the larger money center banks? Do you, do you think that will continue to hold up or are they starting to see kind of chinks in the armor, so to speak? Yeah, Bowen, you, you really asked the, the big question for the rest of the year, which is all about credit. And right now, it's so interesting that credit is really strong for the banks. Now, you might remember they have a new accounting rule called CECL, Current Expected Credit Losses. They have to build up reserves in anticipation of losses down the road, and banks are doing that. But there's, real no, there's really no evidence of credit deterioration. Now, there is some in the subprime lending areas, credit starting to deteriorate, but we still have, even as Jamie Diamond pointed out, in his credit card portfolio, the losses are still well below normal and will eventually normalize, but we don't see it happening over the next 30 or the next quarter or two. Gerard, great to speak with you. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, Melissa. Thank you. Gerard Cassidy, what did you make of Bank of America, Karen? Well, I thought it was it was good, and it was good on the heels of already expectations being up a little post uh, J.P. Morgan and some others. I thought what I thought their holds maturity would be worse than it was, um, and I also thought Moynihan sounded to me pretty confident about the consumer. Although he said, you know, our belief is mild recession, but he said consumers, I believe that consumers checking accounts have more money now than going into the pandemic. Now, you and I were talking a little before this about is that a, is that a is that indicative of the consumers in great shape or the consumers scared right. and doesn't want to spend? And what does that mean for discretionary stocks? That I don't know, but I, I thought I thought it was good. I'm surprised actually that the stock wasn't up more. It was up that day with J.P. Morgan, but I think it should have been up more and more. Yeah. So to the stocks, if you look at the KRE, you know, without the performance of New York Community Bank Corp, which which obviously got that big boost, you're actually down. So it's about four. It's the largest position in the KRE, uh, up 50 percent from that point. You can kind of do the math on that at four percent. So that that's meant you know a two percent move or so just out by itself. And, and but whereas the money center banks versus the regionals, 
look kind of interesting here. And we've had supportive uh, and, and peripheral when you're getting some better numbers out of travelers and some of the, some of the insurance companies. This is part of the whole segment that got thrown out the window. I'm not saying, and they're, they're very different businesses, and I'm not saying there aren't credit issues for money center banks coming down there. Uh, I'm just saying, I look at J.P. Morgan pushing up around that 140, 141. You know, kind of if you look at uh, the most recent peak of, of this cycle range, you know, around 145, you get there, and then I think you have a chance to actually take it higher. Uh, I don't think these things get away from you, but I think some of the money centers still look good.